Hey everyone, welcome to another video. What are you doing? <laughs> and welcome to another video. Uh, today I wanted to do a makeup tour. Um, I did a video that it was a review of the Tubes & Co makeup, but there are a few other makeup brands that are truly toxin free that I really adore and that I purchase from exclusively um, so I just wanted to kind of take you through all of my makeup um, and things that you know I give a big thumbs up to things that I love and yeah so I'll have a few actually uh, affiliate links in the bottom if you're curious about them if you want to click on them um, the brands are Lauren Brooke, Poofy Organics, Au Naturale and Tubes and Co. I will also talk about the PDF that I made for um, a friend of mine. Her website is Eco Friendly Mama. Um, it's for made in the USA products, things that are safe and local and all that sort of thing. And I um, made a PDF for that group, and so I will link you to that on her website. So, um, I'll show that PDF with you because it's a really great resource and really just breaks it down to best of the best where there's zero ingredients of concern and then there's like the so-so section where the line looks really pretty good um, but there's a few things that maybe some people really don't want in their makeup and then there's like the red zone one where it's just green washing. Um, I don't have anything obvious on there like Revlon, CoverGirl, you know, the ones like you obviously don't want to put on your face if you're trying to look for a very toxic, clean, you know, free, clean line. Um, but I put on ones that um, they say that they're safe. They say they don't have any toxins in them, but in reality, they do have ingredients of concern. Okay, so that's it. I finished my makeup, took a longer than I thought. I had kids coming in and out of my room. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started on the makeup tour. And I'll tell you, even though the, everything that I own is um, toxin free completely, um, super clean line, I will still tell you some of the things um, I do and don't like about them. So yeah, let's get into it. So I just want to say excuse the whole mess. We started to redo our, our bedroom. We put new trim in it's 99% done like 90% done the trim and this was the wall color when we moved in that is why it looks so bizarre 
Also my desk that I love and I've had and has been needing to get redone for the last three years. Oh well, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I will do like a makeover thing for my vanity because I also need a mirror thing. Okay, so, all right, here's all the makeup. And I purchased this for myself or maybe as a birthday present? I don't really remember. Anyway, it's this three-tiered thing. It is plastic, which plastic isn't my favorite, but I really do like being able to see everything because I, I change things around and I don't always remember. I don't always remember where I put things. So this is kind of what I have. Um, and they kind of fall over, but if I'm not moving them, they don't fall over. So we're going to start, we'll start with the top. Um, my poor makeup brushes that need a severe clean. Um, most of these are equal tools or... No, I think they're, I think they're all eco tools. A couple of them are Lauren Brooke, but it's like when you buy tools that have the company name on them, they're probably because they outsource them and put their name on them. See, that one says Lauren Brooke. Um, yeah, anyway, so those are the makeup brushes. Um, okay, so we'll start here. Nope, we'll start. Those are essential oils. Okay. These are Poofy Organics, and these were lip stains um, that they have. And I bought them before they gave them names. They just have lot numbers, so I don't remember which these are. I want to say this is like... I don't even know. It's it's like so spear, like a red, red color. And then this one is a pink. The only problem... Oh, and I have one more. So those are like perfect. I love these. The thing came out of this one, <laughs> and so that's why it looks like this. It did look like that, but as you can see, I use this the most. So this one's really awesome because um, you can put them on as like a matte lip color, and they will literally stay on all freaking day long. Or you can put them on top of like a lip chapstick. I can't even open it with one hand. A chapstick, and um, they they come off a little easier, but they're more glossy. Uh, you got these are also poofy organics. These three, they are, I think some of these are discontinued. I bought them when they were discontinuing some of them. Like, I have a nude color. I have this color with a slight pink. This one's like a shimmery. These ones only wear like in the spring and the summer. It's like a watermelony color. Pink Passion. Nude Nymph. And Pink Predictions is that one. I love them. They're really, I, I use them a lot in the summer. Especially when all I want to do is put a little bit of BB cream and mascara and that, and then I'm good to go. Um, we've got Lauren Brooke Mascara. Now, Lauren Brooke, super clean line. Um, and they are probably my favorite makeup all around. But I'm not a fan of their mask. Okay. I would be a fan of their mascara if I already had really thick, luscious, gorgeous lashes and I just needed a little oomph. Then I would love this. Ugh, one hand is not working. Anyway, um, then I would love this. But I have puny, thin, soft lashes that have blonde tips. And so I need something more like this, which is poofy. It's what I use today. And this is the Poofy HD Mascara. This stuff, you put a few layers or so, and they will give you more of a vavoom type look. Um, Tubes & Co. I actually really like this one, too. Um, I feel like it gives you almost as much um, volume as this one. Almost. This one is meant for lots of volume. Um, I was trying to find my Crunchy mascara. It is around here somewhere. Um, it's one of the very few things that I like from Crunchy. Um, it's pretty good too. It's also vegan. I really like it. But yeah, I don't have it in here for some stinking reason. So this one doesn't have something on it which is a little frustrating and I don't know if it's because I, I don't think I rubbed it off I think I bought them so this is from Toops & Co and I th want to say that I bought this when they may have first changed over their company and so they weren't putting the old label on they didn't have a new one this is a Poofy Organics their Poofy Glam they did recently lower prices on some of their stuff okay I'm having there we go. I don't know why. I have the worst luck with this stuff. I know so many people, like, their 
any of these brands like their stuff is perfect I'm really hard on my on my makeup I th throw them around and I throw them in bends uh, what is that divinity and we've got BB cream um, this literally just gives me a little bit of sun protection because um, it has SPF in it and yeah it's a moisturizer primer sunscreen SPF 15 concealer foundation it is not full coverage by any means however I really love putting this stuff on in the summer because it just evens my skin tone out a little bit it protects my skin and then if I want to later in the day or if I'm sweating or whatever I can just put on a little bit of their powder and just call it a day um, this okay this was my favorite it's Lauren Brooke it's just like a little pot and brush um, however Poofy came out with these have a different one I didn't like it um, so I do really like this one and this one's brown if I can get this back in here so when I want more of an espresso color I use this but I really like this one this one the brush on it I don't know it's just awesome I love the brush on this I screw up liquid liner all the time and I didn't wear it for a long time because of this and I don't do wings or anything like that unless I'm getting super glammed up but this makes it really really easy to work with um, okay so these are they're not made in the US like everything else here. It is eyelash adhesive that doesn't have formaldehyde and a bunch of nasty crap in it. Um, not tested on animals, latex free, vegetarian, vegan. <laughs> this is vegetarian and vegan on it. Dark tone. So this goes on black and dries clear. Something like that. I haven't really gotten to use this much because I have the original formula, which is this, and it is clear. But it's old and expired, and I really should just get rid of this. So this is what it looks like. Okay, this is what it is. That's not old. That's just the stick is white. Anyway, and then it's just it's glue. See? So I really like this. I got this because I wanted um, it to. Sometimes I feel when I use the clear stuff, it gives a weird look to my eyeliner when I put my lashes on. And um, yep, this is the only lash glue I can even use because all the other stuff with the formaldehyde and all the other crap in it makes my face blow up like a little blowfish. It's not cute at all. Not this is my favorite primer. It's from Tubes & Co. It's the one I used today, Natural Face Primer. Um, one pump will do your entire face. I've had this forever. If I wasn't out of it, which I can barely get anything out of it and it is time for me to replace it, then I would buy another one. But this lasted me probably a year. I don't put makeup on every day though. Um, this is their, see it's like a little pump style. This is their liquid foundation. I say it's pretty full coverage. I did do a, um, I'll put up in the little cards or whatever, um, the only other video I have on. As of this filming, I have filmed other videos, I haven't put them up yet. <laughs> But I'll put it in the cards, the, the link to me doing uh, the review, and these are the ones I did. They're pretty full coverage, and I really like them. Choo -choo -choo -choo. Yep, that's all that. I feel like I have, like, weird hand. Okay, switching hands. So, what else do I have in here? This is another primer. It's from Warren Brooke. I've used it. I really should toss it. Um, but it's a thicker, more waxy primer. It's not my favorite anymore. Um... This is a powder primer. I do like this for my eyes, especially um, when it's hot out. What's that? I really like that one. Um, I go outside with my kids a lot and we get all sweaty because we're not used to the heat here in the Pacific Northwest. It's also a primer. And this is Lauren Brooke. And it's a, I don't know, it's an eye primer. It's like the light one. <laughs> these, these are color correctors. It's poofy. It's a green one. It color corrects red. And, ooh, what do I have in there? Oh, charm. Okay. So when I order things from Lauren Brooke, here's here's the thing I love and hate about it. I order things from Lauren Brooke, or when you order regular stuff, you get like little gifts like this, right? 
I hate all these little plastic things. I really do. However, they are really great for if you don't know what your shade is or you're unsure of if you're going to like something. These are really great to try them without buy purchasing a big thing and then wasting a big thing. Not only are you saving money, but you know, you're saving the rest of the packaging. But I also love them because I tend to buy mass or um, eyeshadow like this. I don't go through eyeshadow very often. I barely go through eyeshadow. And so I just buy them like this. Way cheaper. And they'll last me a year. At least. This is a Poofy Organics one. Blushingly. Um, they also send little samples like this. So I hate all these little plastic things. And I will try to make reuse these. But... At the same time, they can, as long as you're not excessively using them, you know, they can be used in a sustainable way, I suppose. We've got, what is this, Lauren Brooke? This was a bronzer, eyeshadow, cream, oh, a cream eyeshadow. Oh, that's right, I usually use this in the summer, fall. As you can see, it's kind of dirty because, like, eyeshadow dipping in when I, or eyeliner. Anyway, that's what I have in there. Th these are samples of Poofy Organics. I wasn't sure what color I was, but looking at them, I'm probably both. <laughs> I think this is the one that I go with the most. This is the one I use. This is a concealer, and it's a Luminous Eyes Corrective Concealer. I really love this one because it color cracks a lot of the red, makes my eyes look brighter, and I get, don't get a lot of sleep. So, yeah, it's really great. Crunchy Organics. Okay, this is Tubes & Co. This is not Crunchy Organics like the mascara I wanted to show you. That's Crunchy with an I, which it, maybe that's one of the reasons why they changed it. This is Crunchy with a Y, and it's the same company as the Tubes & Co. Uh, yeah, so that's that. There, there, there. These are cool because... Oh, uh -uh, I have some jewelry in here. Um, these are perfumes, and they are toxin-free perfumes. From Lauren Brooke. I really like them. They're samples. But I again I got the sample because I rarely, rarely ever wear perfume at all. It just comes in a little plastic thing here. And you pop it out. And it's like that. This is just what I keep my tools in. I have an <laughs> like I don't know why I have three of these. I think I kept buying them and then I found them, and so now I Travel with one, one I keep in here, two I keep in here. These are eyebrow things, like um, stencils from Warbrook. And I don't use them because I just do my own thing. But I see I have some eyebrow cutters. Again, one of those, I, I kept losing them, so I kept buying them, which is ridiculous. And then when I went through my room and my bathroom, I found the whole bunch. And yeah, then they stack like this and like that and then the, all this stuff gets put in there obviously but I sort of yeah we're, I'll do it later okay this one these are the last two and this is the bottom one so this is au natural um, I got some of their foundations I don't know what that is a concealer maybe um, a blush and a bronzer and these are some loose powder ones I keep them separate okay um, and then this is the foundation I used today the Lauren Brooke one this is cool 10 but I realize cool 10 really only works for me in the summer um, and then I need I think I need their cool zero zero because I get pretty see-through <laughs> in the winter these the, these are not 100% of them but I have a lot of poofy Nail polish. Nail polish is a um, one of those things that was really rare to find safe nail polish. And now there are a few companies that have them. And these are ones that I've got my daughters or myself. And we just keep them all in here. My son really likes this one. When we paint our toes, he's obsessed with blue. So he also gets blue. Very nice. Gold. I've got a primer and like a top coat. I've got stuff to do like uh, friendship tips. 
I don't really ever have the time for it though, so I just put it, throw them on my toes sometimes and call it a day. And yeah, so the, and then the last section on this little makeup tour is this. And these are my, I have a lip liner here. I don't use lip liners unless I'm going out getting fancy. And I, it has, so it has, sorry about that. It has a sharpener. This is Lauren Brooke. Lauren Brooke Pink Blossom. Pink Blossom. Okay. And then I have these. Um, maybe they're all poofy. That one's poofy. The espresso, I use it for my eyebrows. This one's poofy. It's black. I use it for my eyes. So this one doesn't have a thing on it. So this may not be poofy. This one might be... Toops & Co. Let me see. Smoke eyeliner. It's done in a different... I'm pretty sure this is Toops & Co. It's a smoke. It's a gray. So I usually have all three. I like brown eyeliner on myself, but um, I just typically use it for my... It's like a light brown. I use it for my eyebrows. And then I have lots of palettes. Which I don't even think that these are available anymore. It's very possible I bought these also when they were clearancing them out because palettes get expensive. <laughs> and so, Glitz and Glam. What's this? And I like that one for the fall. This one is Subtle Appeal. I do this one, I don't know, fall, year round, whatever. I've been using this one a lot for the winter. It's the one you just saw. And actually, I really like these because you can, they're magnetic, and so they're not going to fall out. See? Um, and you can just replace them, so then you only buy the pods. And I really like the pods because, from a sustainability aspect, they are recyclable. And I really appreciate that. And so, and they're less expensive to purchase them this way because you're not buying the whole palette. And so, it's also a cost factor that I really like. And then this one is Time Flies. And this one is more pink and purples. I use it in spring and summer. Um, I do more neutrals in the fall and more pinky purples in the... Yep, and that's it. So that is the makeup tour of all the things. And yeah, so I will um, link everything below. The companies that I like, including the... I lash strip lash glue and poofy organics and all that most of them are going to be affiliate links and so if you want to click on them that's awesome i'd appreciate it <laughs> um and then i'll link to the buy club because you can also get poofy through the buy club um the lady that runs it just she sometimes has like specials and that sort of thing and um what else yeah and i will link to the brushes i think i got it on amazon and Oh, and also for Amazon, I'll link the the actual con um, like contraption that I keep all my makeup in. So yeah, so I guess that's everything. I really appreciate you guys um, coming along with me doing this little makeup tour um, of all the makeup that I have so far. I'm sure I'll do an updated one because a lot of my things are out or they're about to expire. Um, and certain things like eyelash like um eyeshadows i'm really bad about replacing them when you're supposed to i don't know but things like mascara i go through it a lot and things like foundation they're liquid um items and so i really try to make sure i'm not um you know putting grossness on my face <laughs> i try to make sure i replace them when they're supposed to be replaced um and so i guess i guess that's everything um thanks for joining me and i will see you guys in the next video Bye.